On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, keyboard shortcuts in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com Screencast Show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to join the conversation and leave your questions, so just do that below the video. So I was on one of the many church tech forums that I frequent, and I noticed uh, someone had a question and the answer was a simple keyboard shortcut. Uh, basically they had the main display that was on their control display in ProPresenter 6 kind of by mistake and someone said oh yeah I just try command one. I go wow that works so well how did I not know that? Well it's one of the main keyboard shortcuts so that got me to thinking maybe there are other people that don't know all the great keyboard shortcuts that the folks over at Renewed Vision have provided in ProPresenter 6. So while I'm not going over every last one of them, because there's a lot, these are the ones that I think are the most common ones. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. You probably know just how powerful ProPresenter is by using the mouse. And maybe you use the keyboard, you hit uh, space to advance, or uh, the right arrow key, or the left arrow key, or to go down to the next item, you press the down arrow, or up to go to the previous item in the playlist, stuff like that, pretty simple. But you may or may not know these keyboard shortcuts, and these are the ones that I use probably the most often. There are a few that I don't use myself, but I imagine that a lot of churches would use them. So I thought that I would just go through uh, a lot of these. Now, before I have mentioned this first one that I'm going to talk about, Alt or Option M, and that moves your mouse to the center. So if you've lost your mouse, that's the one to do. Now, if you need to move some but not all of the text from one slide to the next one. Let's say I wanted to split the text on this slide up into uh, to put it onto the second slide. I could right click, go into edit slide, or I could actually do control E and that'll take me to the editor. Then I click wherever I want uh, the next slide to begin. Okay, there we go. And we do Alt or Option again and Enter. And I've just taken this text, which is now on its own slide, and put it on the next slide. Now, keep in mind that you have to have a empty slide for it to go to if you're formatting a song real quick or something like that. Because if you don't, it will put it on the next slide. So if I instead wanted to put this, um, this just the first line on this slide, and then this line and the next line onto the next slide, I could do that. Ooh, they've actually changed that in ProPresenter 6. Good to know. So it used to be that it would just put it onto the next slide. Now it looks like it's adding in a new slide. So you learn something new every day, and that's one of the things that I've learned here is that in ProPresenter 6, they have fixed that so that that creates a new slide and puts it on the new slide. Now let's get out of this. Um, the next few relate to the outputs and the stage display. So right now I've got my output off over here and I'm going to move my mouse away from that and show you how to toggle the output. So I can command one to turn it on. Now you'll see over here it's now on so watch that and 
Command-1 again toggles it off. So that can be very helpful, um, you know, especially if for some reason the output shows up on the wrong monitor. Command-1 is what I always use. Now you can also show stuff only on the stage display. So I could get ahead of what's showing up on the main screen, not only by showing the preview, which will show this window. If I'm on this one, it'll show this next one um, in the stage display. But what I can also do is hit Command-0, and you see this little exclamation point in the rectangle? You'd think that something had gone horribly wrong. No, that's just to let you know you're no longer controlling the main output. So as I go through these, you know, I can show this on the stage display. But up until ProPresenter 6, you didn't have a way to preview that yourself. You'd just have to have a copy of the stage display within iShot. Maybe you don't have the ability to do that. With ProPresenter 6, though, you can. So there is a um, stage display preview, and that is Command 3. So now I can actually see what's on the stage display. And I'm only affecting the stage display. The main display still has what it previously had on it. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. I can also toggle on and off the stage display itself by doing Command 2. Here you've seen that it's gotten put on this uh, display by mistake. So I can just Command 2 to make that go away. Next, I can configure the stage display with Command 4. And you'll see that I can do that pretty straightforward and simple. You know, just go through, do whatever I want. Um, I don't want to do anything right there, so I'm going to Command 4 to untoggle the configure stage display. If I want to get uh, deep into the preferences, Command, comma, does that. These are all Mac shortcuts, of course, because you don't have a command key on a PC. So uh, Command, comma, brings up these preferences. And it does not toggle, though. So keep that in mind as well. Now we go to some of the, let me make sure, yeah, I think I got all those. So the next set are kind of things that you'll probably use quite often. So Control M brings up the messages, and that is a toggle. Command E, I mentioned already, brings up the editor, also a toggle. Command, control, sorry, command M is messages. Did I say that wrong again? Control M is messages. Control E is editor. Control S is scheduler. So on a Mac, command S is save. Control S is the scheduler. And that is also a toggle. Command See, I'm doing it wrong. Control V is the video image bin, and that's also a toggle. So that's very helpful. And of course, the Bible, Control B for Bible. And I'm, that is also a toggle. Good. So I hope that these keyboard shortcuts, which I think are probably the ones you'll use most often using ProPresenter, are, the, are some things that are helpful to you that will help speed up your ability to create presentations, uh, do things on the fly, and just uh, use ProPresenter to the best of your ability.
Well, I hope that helped. I hope now, as you're just going along during service, that you'll be able to add the appropriate uh, action or do the appropriate thing with the keyboard, saving you all kinds of time mousing all over the place, or you might even be able to find your mouse because that was the first one I talked about. Either way, but I just really hope that that's helpful. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there I will give you a uh, church tech gift of your choosing, along with a free subscription to my email newsletter, where I give you even more chip, uh, church tech tips and tricks, and some of the great news about the things that are happening over here at trinitydigitalmedia.com. Also, uh, head over to my store, because while you can buy most of my resources a la carte there, you can also get a subscription to the Church Tech U community, which provides all of those resources um, that I'm not under contract with someone else, but all the ones that I have full and clear control over, uh, including some that haven't been released elsewhere, and it's a community where we can talk with one another about church tech and basically you have direct access to me so no leaving messages here there or everywhere you can just go where i spend most of my time until next time this is paul allen clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com go out and change eternity